Hey guys, what's up? Timmy J Tech here, and welcome back to my channel. In this series, I'll be showing you how to create your own idle clicker game in Unity. As I've explained in the other episodes, you will be able to click on an animal to earn money and then buy upgrades so that player can use auto clickers. In this episode, I'll be showing you another new feature I've come up with, which will replace the one in the last episode. When you move your mouse over an animal, it will run away. I will add the script to my mouse cursor so that I can simulate the act of chasing barn animals back into their barn, and instead of controlling a farmer, you will be in control. There are two things we will need to do to complete this task. First off is setting up the damage function onto the mouse cursor, and then we'll want to make the animals move once your mouse is hovering over them. I've set up my Unity project to be just like the episode before the last one, before we added in the player character. As you can see here, I have my background elements back into the UI, as well as the UI elements are still there in the UI. All of this is under a canvas, as well as the animals are under a canvas as well. By making everything a UI, it'll be a 2D object and we can easily move our cursor over it. Our animals are all currently buttons, so we'll want to click on this and hit the minus to remove that. And then we're going to want to add a specific function to our animal script so that it will call it automatically once your cursor is over the animal. Open up your scripts folder and then open up your animal script. We did make this a bit ago, so let's go over it. We do have current HP, the max HP, money to give, and then the health bars fill, all for the animal, as well as a damage function and a cop function. To check if our mouse is over an object, we'll want to use this function that is built into Unity called public void on mouse over. Once your mouse is over a game object, it'll hit the collider and call this function. And in here, we're gonna want to call the damage function. This will call it each frame for the duration that your mouse is over it. And then there's a second function you'll want to call public void on mouse exit. And in here, we're going to want to do the opposite of damage, which is, we can just call this not damage so that it stops calling the damage function. Here, I'm going to copy the damage function. If you hit shift, alt, and down arrow, it'll just copy what's selected. And instead of courage P minus minus, you're gonna want to do courage P plus plus. So now when the mouse exits, it'll make sure to not round up the animal. And when your mouse is over it, it will be rounding up the animal. The last thing we need to do is when the animal is being damaged, it should move around and try to get away from you. Make sure you rename this second function to not damaged. All right, right under here is gonna be all the variables for our animal movement. We are going to want a private float vel x and as well a private float vel y. This is short for velocity x and velocity y. We will only be focusing on x. Third, we're going to want a private float for speed and speed is going to be based on how fast the animal is. So I'm just going to say right now that it is 0.02f seems like a decently fast speed um, but we can make them faster or slower if we need to later and then we're going to need a couple bool checks for where these animals are headed so i'll say private bool up and then we'll need two more for right as well as left this is going to come in handy when we are checking what way they are facing all right, and I'm going to make a void awake function. I'm not 100% sure if this should be private or public. Um, I'm just gonna keep it default like the normal files have usually. This is going to be a logic for what way the animal is facing. So I'll start by saying if up is equal to true. Inside here, we're going to say vel y is equal to negative speed, else vel y is equal to speed. We'll do the same thing for right. So if right is equal to true, vel x is equal to speed. So we're going right, the speed is gaining. Else vel x is equal to minus speed. This will deal with what way they're facing and their speed values. I'm also going to want a public void fixed update. And in here, this is going to be all of the physics calculations that are going to appear on screen. Instead of just putting in a update function where it would update each frame, Fixed update does that each frame for whatever device you're on so that when this animal is moving, it's not going to be going too slow or too fast for that device. Um, it's going to be on that device's refresh rate. Here in fixed update, the first thing we're going to want to call is transform.translate. Inside here, we'll pass in vel x, vel y, and zero for z. This is great if you're moving animals up and down, left and right, but in reality, we can get rid of this because we don't need to check if they're going up or down, but I hope that helped for your reference. Now we just need to give them a distance on the screen to run around on. 
I'll say if their transform dot position dot x is less than or equal to minus five or the transform dot position dot x is greater than or equal to five then in here we're going to say vel x is equal to negative vel x so basically if this is anywhere on the opposite side it's supposed to be it's going to flip and if you were doing the y then you'd also do it for y as well so you'd say position dot y is less than a certain amount and position dot y is greater than a certain amount and then vel y equals negative vel y but we're only dealing with x right now so save that and let's head back into unity all right there we have it so if i hit play here we'll see now our duck is waddling around and well when i uh, go over him he instantly disappears the first thing we want to do is move this translate function into the on mouse over here so once you mouse over then the duck will move let's try this out now so now he's standing still and there we go when we put it over him he instantly runs away let's give him like 100 health uh, maybe that'll fix something. I'm going to give the duck 500 health. Yeah, I think that would be good. I think 1,000 would be too much, so let's try it. So yeah, now he's running away. He's trying to get to the barn. Boom! He got to the barn. Alright. And, uh, oh. What? Where's the chicken? I'm actually having an issue. If each animal has its own canvas, then the next one kind of freaks out. If the animal script is on the parent object, which is the canvas, it doesn't work. So I need to make sure to have one canvas for all the animals and then just have each one spawn in with its animal script. All right, I'm going to right click and create a UI canvas here. This will be called the barnyard. And I'm going to put all the animals in here without their canvases because the barnyard is going to be the canvas and it'll be camera, main camera. Perfect. All right, now that I have the animals exactly where I want them and their collision box placed, I can delete these old prefabs and replace them with the new ones. So I'll just drag and drop them in here. And I can delete these other ones from the scene and edit the game manager so that it has all the updated prefabs, as well as the animal from the scene here. Then I can save and hit play. Now when I hover over the duck, it seems to go the wrong way. We can also add two debugs here so that in the console it'll actually tell us what's going on. So I'll hit play here. And when I go over it, it seems like mouse over. Mouse exit. For some reason it's just glitching out when I do the mouse over now. Alright, now that we have all of our animals, their position is set, their colliders are set, as well as they have their animal scripts and their health bars. Now we can delete the old prefabs as well as put in the new ones. So I'll just drag and drop them here into this prefabs folder. Then we can go into the game manager and update those prefabs. Delete the unneeded animals from the scene and then use that current animal in our current animal animal manager. We can save and now hit play. And when we put our mouse over the animal, it will go towards the barn. And once it enters the barn, we have caught it. Doesn't seem to be working with this uh, rabbit though. When we hover over it, the button is working so there will be a couple bugs but as you can see it is working better than the player then we can add a trigger on the right side of the screen so if it does escape then you can't catch it at all and it will just remove that prefab from the game if we want in this not damage function we can even change caught to escape so that if they do get too far away they'll escape from your grasp and you won't be able to you know then catch them but all these are just ideas i'm going to continue to work on the scripts to make sure that they work better i've only been giving myself a week between each tutorial and i've been pretty busy with college so look out for a new episode next week if you did enjoy please drop a like i'll have more content coming soon so stick around but thank you all for watching and have a nice day